Hello and welcome to the Temple of Tomes with your host, Indie Comics Jones. Today is October 22nd, 2020. This is episode 113. Today we're taking a look at Big Girls, an image comic, image comic, <laughs> at 399. This is issue number three, and it's by Jason Howard, who did the writing and the artwork on this. Now let's first take a look at the cover here. Nice uh, triangle, a lot of... Uh, Diagonals going on here. Nice cover, actually. Um, not going to say the scene happens in the book exactly, but there is at least some placement of both the characters in the foreground and the one of these, uh, they call them jacks in the background, which are, are basically males that grow up to be very grotesque and huge and mindless uh, eaters of flesh, basically. So... Um, it's been a good story so far. Uh, a little on the woke side. Um, the only thing that protects the, the people in this and in what they call the city called the Preserve are big girls. And they're just about the same size as these what they call jacks. And they fight them with firearms and some martial arts skills as well. Whatever they can do to take them down. So this story actually goes back into Ember's earlier life when she was smaller and she's still pretty good size in this her father's trying to feed them all um she's got two brothers that are normal and she has actually started growing she's befriended a small jack in the barn and they have killed a few cows and eaten them and they were hoping to save those cows uh food prices were going up they were hoping to get a make a killing on them so they could get more food for the whole family well she couldn't wait she had a hungry jack here she's kind of befriended him um they were able to chase it up chase the jack off <laughs> that doesn't sound real good but they got they got the jack to leave basically and uh, the next day the father decides to sell the sell the daughter to the city uh, in order to let her grow up to be a protector and also to feed his own family. So he's kind of in desperate straits here. I don't think he really wants to get rid of her, but um, but uh, he ends up doing so. And he sells, the person doing the transaction is Joanna, who we find out later is a villain working on the other side. Um, this is 12 years in the, in the past. Now we go 12 years in the future. Her father and family never visit her again after she's taken away, and she never visits them out on the farm. And so she doesn't even know if they're still alive, basically. Now we've got uh, present time, and the people that are on part of the resistance, or they're trying, trying to um, take down the preserve, sort of, watch a giant... Jack walk by and into towards the city. And we see in the background here is uh, we've got Devin jumping in. Oh, I'm sorry, it's Ember. Ember jumping into attack to stop this Jack from getting any further. She almost takes it down. And then it starts talking to her, which is the first... Now, I suspect this might be the same Jack that she grew up with 12 years ago that was much smaller, but still hideous as ever. And um, so she pretty much doesn't kill it at all. She kind of lets it go. In fact, uh, Apex, who trained Ember how to fight these things, tries to kill it, and Ember stops her later on. But in the meantime, we have Joanna here. She is the villainess now, and she's kind of mannish-looking. And she's talked this father father into becoming kind of an experimental, um, I don't know if you call him like sperm donor, but uh, she wants to create more big jacks, basically. And he seems to carry the right gene. If you recall in the first issue, his son Adam was killed off by the big girls. He was harboring him, and they found him and knocked him off. So they've got another one in here. They're looking at him. Suddenly they get raided by the police before they can put um, the father into the, the machine that will create more jacks. 
and they destroy their headquarters basically. In the meantime, uh, and then Devin's on it and on this one. In the meantime, they get away. They're able to escape barely, and Devin is called away, so she has to call off the pursuit of Joanna and her accomplice here. So they're going to go into what they call the cube, which is in the preserve, where the big girls um, kind of get um, restored, so to speak, back to fighting form. So in the meantime, uh, Apex shows up. Ember stops her from killing the Jack that she had communicated with. And they get into a fight, and that's how it ends. Um, it was a pretty quick read, actually. Uh, it seems to be a fairly popular comic. I'm the only one I know that's reviewing it this far in now. This is issue three, and there seems to be a lot of people writing letters in, so they must really like it. Just page after page of letters. So I'm assuming that's a good sign. Uh, and we get some extra little art in here for issue three. There's the cover process of them coming up with it. Kind of stunning, really. That actually looks pretty good without the, the colors on there. That looks more stark, almost like a 1950s monster picture. Maybe the Colossus, Colossus Man. Um, but that's what we got for issue number three. So very quick review this time. Really enjoying this comic and enjoying the artwork for it for the most part. It's a little more sketchy than I usually like, but I think it's pretty good and dynamic. And the, this issue had a lot of action in it, actually. So, recommending this, obviously. And I'll be back with more comic reviews in the future. Thank you for stopping by. Please like, please subscribe. Please leave comments. Please dislike if you don't like it and tell me why you didn't like it, the review here. But I will have more. I'm actually got... Uh, I think it's called The Scumbag from Image Comics number one, and that's a Rick Remender, and I'll be doing that one probably tomorrow night. Um, but I'll start reading it today. And thank you very much. Once again, this is Indie Comics Jones. Thanks for stopping by the Temple of Tomes. We'll see you next time. And as always, I bid you adieu.